Hello and welcome to another episode of Box Trick. I'm your host, Matt Brady, joined once again by Funk Master Adam. Adam, how are we doing today, man? Well, Matt, I'm doing absolutely great, man. How are you? Hey, I'm good. So, uh, Adam, you just bought a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, just in time, uh, too, right? (laughs) Just in time, man. So, uh, Pokemon Day, you know, uh, was was upon us, and we finally got that announcement for Generation uh, 8, which will be Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. We both kind of watched the trailer. Um... I gotta say, I'm I'm excited, man. I'm 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 looking I'm looking forward to it. What what, what do you what, what were you kind of thinking? Yeah, Just in, initial thoughts. Yeah, here. I I mean, I mean, it was so. I think it was so abundantly clear, but when they announced a few days ahead of time that they were gonna have this announcement, that I thought to myself, this is definitely this is definitely it. Like, no more waiting around because we're rolling around the time they said they were kind of shooting for uh, its release. I mean, it'll probably be later on in the year or uh, mm-hmm. something like that oh no, it'll be november yeah it's gonna be hard yeah. it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the black friday holiday yeah holiday yeah, yeah. And like you know we knew this um ages ago when they even started hinting at uh let's go pikachu and let's go eevee you know like right. we knew we were gonna get these this two is games not, and... this is not the next full game yeah, yeah yeah so and you know here we go we're we're here like you said generation eight Eight generations later, dude. You know, I was, I was like, I was like eight or nine years old when this all started, and here we are. You know, I'm 29, and it's happened. You know, and I, I, just looking at the game and looking at its visuals, there was so much speculation going on with with this game. You know, a lot of people were really crossing their fingers going oh this has got to be like breath of the wild they were like if it's not going to be like breath of the wild it's going to be traditional i think however oh we got a bit of both worlds in this and that's and that's great i think that's really really good because i I mean come on it can't be exactly like breath of the wild it has to still have its own identity and i was talking about this with a friend of mine basically i think what we got with this it's got it's got the let's go kind of aesthetic but so, so it's still got that classic Pokemon aesthetic, in a sense. But I think, judging from what did they call this region again? I forget the name of it. It was the. Uh, it's it, so it's spelled Galar, but in all of the videos they say like Gala. So like the R is silent. Oh, okay. Is, is what I. Yeah. Okay. So basically, I think the map is going to be arguably. The grandest we've ever seen in a Pokemon game. And I think mm-hmm. that's what's going to give us that kind of Breath of the Wild uh, take on it. Just the the, um, the size, the, the, the mass of this game, so to speak. Because the towns look big. Uh, the landscapes look big. I remember there was one point where it shows uh, the female avatar like staring off into this right. kind of like etched out... Uh, Nazca line. Yeah, exactly. Thing. Going up yeah. that hill. And it's like, that's no doubt in my mind that that is all going to be explorable, you know? And I, I, I think that's just, I think that's awesome. And I, I like the starters. This is the first time in a really, really long time, probably since black and white that I liked the starters. I, right. I was, um, well, well, actually, I'll, I'll go as far to say is, well, Generations Two, Generation Two is my favorite, even though I started with Gen One, probably just like you, mm-hmm. but um, and it's hard for me to say sometimes too, because Gen One is just so great. That's classic right there, you know. It's OG, but th- there's right. just something about Generation Two that just really uh, hits it out of the park for me. But Gen Three, I wasn't too crazy about. Gen Four, I really enjoyed. As far as starters go, Gen 5 I really enjoyed, and just going forward, I I really wasn't digging uh, what I was seeing. Some other good, uh, you know, Pokemon that, you know, that were definitely released in those generations, though. But these three, uh, these three hit home. I, I like uh, I like what we're seeing yeah, here. I, I'm Team Grookey all the way, okay? <laughs> I, I don't think, normally I think pick I'm... grass starters. 
<laughs> but I'm team I'm team Grookey, man. You it's know? cool because he's it like he's like, like this little monkey cat thing, you know? It's yeah, like leaf monkey thing. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. They're they're great, and um, I mean, I forgot I forgot their names to be honest, but um. You know, everyone see they get the you, it's like Score Bunny. Yeah, Score Rookie, Bunny, and I can't remember. Yeah, everyone seems to want Score Bunny though, and I and not, I almost did, me. but I always go with the water starters, and I I like this thing. I like I like what I'm saying. I of, typically do. I like I like the water starter too. I like the way the water starter guy looks. I'm trying to remember what his name is. It's um something weird. Uh, you've got yeah, Score Bunny. Oh gosh, dang it, Score Bunny, uh, Grookey, and I'll have to find the other one. I don't. I don't have it. I don't have it in front of me here. But uh, you know, the other thing I found interesting was I thought I figured po Pokemon Shield would be the blue game, right? Hmm. And Pokemon Sword is the blue game, and Pokemon Shield is the red. No, game. that kind of makes sense because blue is kind of like then, this common color, and that could mm -hmm. kind of be like seen like that for a shield. You know, a shield protects, and a, and a sword, right? You know, is like you're offensive, and and red could be kind of menacing. To a degree, so I don't. That's the that was my mm -hmm. take on it, but yeah, right. And so more often than not, I think if you go back and look, it's like what I guess what I kind of consider like the blue game, right? So like I don't know. So you ha is is always like the second one, right? So red is usually like first because you have red and blue. Then you have gold and silver. Um, then it's what you have: uh, ruby, sapphire. So usually the red game is listed first. I mean X and Y that wasn't the case cuz X was blue and and red was red was Y. But yeah, so it's just something else I thought about as well. You know, the what do you think what do you think about the art style here? So I was looking at I was looking at pictures of um like cuz there's a, the, you we see a Pikachu early on and somebody had it up next to the Pikachu from uh, Let's Go and I like the I like the aesthetic in this more than I think I did Let's Go because Let's Go is just kind of like oh let's make it very HD. This has more of like a colorful artistic kind of style going with it. Yeah, I mean, Let's Go also seemed to be a. Um, I think Let's Go is a bit more even. <sighs> Like, I mean, both games are 3D, but right. Sword and Shield is, it's got that look, but it's slightly more, I guess, I don't know if I should say cartoon. Like, d drawn. Yeah, yeah, that's like, a good way to put it. And, like, not really anime, but it just, it, it's more color, there's way more color saturation. Yes, in yes. This, which I, I, I really like the look of this a lot. Yeah, I think it's a bit more uh, vibrant. Right, it looks to me, um, it looks just like Dragon Quest, uh, what's the one that's coming? Dragon Quest Ten or no, no, no. Eleven. What's the one that's coming to Switch? Dragon Quest Eleven. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, to me, the art styles look like, like, right, they look, they look the same. And I love the way that that's game looks. That's a very so. good comparison, is, you know, especially the fact that um, po Pokemon and, and Dragon Quest are two JRPGs that share a lot of the uh, same tendencies as well, I think. In art, in right. art direction, and in just uh, style, so I think I think it's pretty good. Oh, by the way, the water is, um, starter is called um, I think it's Sobel. It starts with an S. It's like so Sobel, Sobel, yeah. yeah, yeah. And what, what, he looks cool too. Yeah. I mean, they they all look cool. Yeah, I liked how he came out of the the fountain though, basically using acid armor, which is like you know I don't know if anyone remembers that move, but it's a defensive move. But like it in the anime, it would turn um, Vaporeon like invisible. And stuff like that, and that's what we saw there, and I thought that was really, really awesome. But yeah, it was, it, I was very close to like being like, "Yo, I'm going Score Bunny all the way." I now I remember, um, I have to admit, because I'm I'm gonna go full on into this game. Uh, just recently, I replayed all of uh, Gold version, original Gold on mm -hmm. the uh, on the Game Boy Color. Uh, you know, my, like I said, my favorite generation, favorite Pokemon game, Gold and Silver. Uh, did it all the way through post game, all sixteen badges. Went to Mount Silver, loved it. It was just as great as I remembered it. I played X and Y. Now X and Y, I thought at the time, mechanic wise and graphic wise on the 3DS, I thought was a marvel. I thought this is great. However, that that story, I was just, I I, 
literally did not care about any form of dialogue that was right. happening in that game. I, uh, yeah, I can, I can, I can totally. And agree. it's totally it's because agree. of that. It was because how. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know if I should say alienated, but I guess I was just turned off by that point. Um, I bought Ultra Sun. X and Y, X and Y was also like. Su- I mean, it's Pokemon, so it's not hard. But X and Y was just seems so incredibly. It easy. just seems so dumbed down, and I I just right. I just didn't like that. And I liked it though. I had a great time. Did you really? X. Wow. I, yeah, I, I I really I really I really liked it. I mean, I didn't. It wasn't like amazing. I don't think it wasn't better than Red or Blue or or Gold and Silver or even Diamond or or pla- uh, Diamond or Pearl. Diamond and Pearl were platinum, great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, those yeah. were great games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um. But yeah, I, I I really I really enjoyed my time with it. I haven't played. I never played Black and White. Black and White was good. Um, I liked Black. I didn't play yeah, Black and White so, too though. But I liked I liked the right. First Black yeah. And White. So so I, I need to I need to I need to play those. Um, I definitely liked it. I definitely liked it more than Ruby Sapphire. I actually never played Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah. Oh, okay. I have. Um. I played Ruby and Sapphire back in the day, and then I played. Um. Uh. But kind of briefly, and then I have. Um. Omega Ruby now. Uh, and I have, I'm having a really hard time playing through it. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> too much, too much water. But I, um, I, guess I, uh, I bought Ultra Sun after Sun and Moon came out because I knew, I, I did want to give Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon a shot, or just Sun and Moon, whatever, because you know you have the two versions right. of them now at this point. But again, like I started it and I was just like, okay, I'm like, this is cool. But why X and Y just kept creeping back into my head, and I ended up just turning the game off and I never finished it but but this I'm going all in on for uh, Sword and Shield but Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon I bought Ultra Sun knowing this was going to be well it's going to be kind of hard to word because the Switch is a full on console but it's a handheld you know, right. but hybrid. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a, a hybrid. It's a hybrid but, but I think it's safe to say you know it, it's a console it is a console but Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon were, traditionally speaking, I guess you could say, the last Pokemon games ever to be released on a traditional handheld, and right. that's that's right. why I got it. So I, when it was released, knowing knowing that, but I'm I'm gonna have to find the time to jump back into it because I heard it gets really really good towards the end, um, and there's like like Giovanni's there and, and stuff like that, and I think that's really really cool. So I would like to see what that's all about. So my favorite Pokemon storylines always revolved around Team Rocket again, gold and silver, red and blue. There you go. But um, yeah, I we have kind of like other than knowing where we're going to be in Sword and Shield and wh- who the starters are, and I guess with the exception of Meltan in Pokemon Go, we really don't know what else we're getting with this game. At all. I mean, I expect a lot of other mechanics to be kind of how Let's Go is. I don't know if this will have access to Pokemon Go like those games. But, um, well, I I guess I shouldn't say all the mechanics because, again, this is supposed to be like a core game like the, like the regular series, you know? Like, right, like right, Let's right. Go took a lot of the mechanics from Go and put them in that, like with the way you throw your Pokeball yeah. and stuff like that. The way you throw your Pokeball, the way you attack, the way they level yeah, up, all that yeah. stuff. Absolutely, yeah. So, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this game overall. Yeah, I am too. Yeah, I'm, um, you know, I it would, it would just... It, the trailer itself, you know, it's it's only three minutes that so we don't we don't really get a lot of it. Um, the game, just from what I saw, I, I understand why they had Pikachu first, but as, the the first thing we see is Pikachu. So we didn't really see a lot of new Pokemon. No, no, right. Which I'm just kind of disappointed about. You know, it's like I get Pikachu, I get it. You know, he's like he's he's the face. Of, that was like the first Pokemon they showed. Right. And so I was just like, uh, you think we would have gotten a know? slight spoiler to maybe like a legendary. Right, and so I did. I did like the reveal of the of the three starters. Um, seems to me, my guess is that Score Bunny is going to be fire and fighting, um, which the last one of those I think Blaziken right was a fire fighting. Yes, guy. he was. I, yeah, was, mm-hmm. was Infernape fire and fighting? I think he was too. That I don't um, recall. I'd have to look at that one. Have, Infernape, I'm not too I'd sure have to about. Look, but I think he was. I think he was fire. He's fire something. I think he was fire fighting. Um, uh. 
Grookey is my guess is probably grass ground. You know, something like that. Or I grass, can see grass. He's gonna be grass. You know, I don't know if he's gonna be grass poison. He could he could maybe be grass fighting. That would be cool. That would be something that's that's pretty cool. I'm trying to think of if there's another. Look grass it up. Fighting In, Infernape type. is fire and fighting. So is fire and fighting. That's what I yeah. thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the water guy, you know, I, he's right now. I just see him as water. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what other, what other type he will, he will be. Yeah, um, I, but I, I don't want to just say ice, but uh... it's, it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to always pick which one I'm gonna, uh, which one I'm gonna choose uh, when they reveal the new starters until I see what they'll turn into. Um, and X and Y, I knew right off the gate. I'm like, I'm picking Froakie. I don't care what he turns into. <laughs> I thought Froakie was awesome. I couldn't stand uh, Froakie, dude. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, oh I, th- my God. I think he's. Uh, I think he's hilarious. <laughs> I think. I think Fro- I think. And he turns into Greninja, and Greninja's awesome. Um. So yeah. So it's hard. For, like when I looked, when I see, when I saw the the Sun and Moon starters. Um. That was like Fennekin, right? That was Fennekin and. Uh, no, 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 no. Sun and Moon is, is it Ultra Sun and Moon, right? What? Ultra it? Sun and Ultra Sun and Moon starters. No, no, no. The starters in which one's Fennekin? Oh, Fennekin is uh, X and Y. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fennekin's X and Y. That, that's it. Because yeah, I, yeah. I thought he looked cool, but then when I saw what he turns into, I'm like, ah, I'm just not into that. So it all, it all totally depends. Yeah, Sun and Moon is like Rowlet, Litten, and uh, Pop and Popolino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Now I'm a bit, I'm, I'm a bit more excited now because I'm doing some reading here. I got both PD up. Uh, I mean, the, you can't get a more trusted source for Pokemon related stuff than Bulbapedia. Mm-hmm. So Sobel is just solely a water type. And okay. I just realized he's a chameleon. So imagine what his oh. final form might be like. That could be that, cool. I think that's going to be really, really cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited now. That's why I go in all in on uh, water. It's just so good. That um, Fifth gen, uh, Ashwat. Um, fully evolved form is um, oh, man, yep. what was it? It was uh, I forget the name of Ashwat's it. Ashwat's sweet though. Uh, Let me go here. It's um, fully evolves into Samurai, and it's like this cool samurai yeah. looking otter. Ah, right. oh, so yeah, good. See, Lit- yeah, Lit- Litten turns into Incineroar, and Incineroar is in Smash, and Incineroar is pretty damn OP. Now in Incineroar Smash, is so. like the wrestler, right? It looks like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I – like I said, I think this map, too, is going to be really grand in scale. I, I can't really wait to see, like, explore all the nooks and crannies of this thing once we, like, really, really get into it. So, Yeah, now the map, a lot of people are saying – a lot of people – a lot of the stuff we're hearing online, one, the map to me, it looked like a straight line. I'm like, wow, this game might be quite linear. Uh, I mean, Pokemon in, in general is kind of a linear game. Kind like, of this is. one might be super linear. Like this one might be super linear. You just go straight up the map. A lot of people are making jokes about how um, British it seems, uh, because there's like a tower like Big Ben and 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 stuff like that. And people are just making all kinds of jokes because they're like, well, the map looks like. Um, I'm a big Game of Thrones guy, obviously. So a lot of people looks like Westeros, but Westeros is based off the United Kingdom, and so people are making that connection as well. Right. That it that it looks just like the United Kingdom, but there are tons and tons of memes right now um, about like of people that people are sending about about this being like, uh, you know, they look like they look like England and all this stuff. Like Twitter's exploding with all of these you memes. Know, are pretty. It's, it's actually not the first time though they've done something European related because there was the one town in X and Y. I forget the name of it. It's supposed to be like the bigger city, but it's kind of like a take mm-hmm. on Paris right. though. So I don't, yeah. I don't, you know. Yeah, X and Y had that kind of France feel, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, for me personally, I don't care. They could, they could make it look however they want. It looks great to me. So. Yeah. So I'm down anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we can we uh, we can wrap it up here. As I just want to do kind of a quick reaction yeah, sure. here, but yeah, I'm super down. I'm I'm totally totally ready uh, for this. I'm sure we'll know a lot more come E3. I'm sure we'll get a big huge yeah. trailer. It's just crazy that um, we've we've gotten it. to this point though, you know. Like, like here we are, uh, 2019, first full-fledged Pokemon game on a console. The battles look a lot more drawn out and spectacular as well. Like, just man, oh man, mm-hmm. <laughs> what a time to be alive! Yeah, yeah, ab- absolutely. Unfortunately, now we don't have you know it's not like back in the day where you have you could have Pokemon on your handheld and then you throw it on the TV through a uh, Coliseum or Stadium or any of that stuff. Now you just switch it in. That's it. 
So, all right. Well, uh, thanks guys for uh, listening to this. We just kind of want to do a quick little um, reaction here. So, uh, yeah, Adam, uh, glad to have you back on. Yeah, thanks, man. And um, yeah, uh, as always, guys, thanks for listening.